Hello students, let's talk about the new chapter Human Resource and Development. First, what are Human Resource Department? The department which plays a major role in the selection, staffing, training and helping the workforce in any organization to improve the capability and performance of an organization is called HR department. This is also called talent department. Responsibilities of HRs. It helps in attaining maximum individual development by providing desirable working conditions. HRM is involved in the selection placement of personnel and their training and performance. This department includes motivation, leadership, management of resources and HRM includes human resource development which helps in increasing the knowledge, skills, capacities of personnel in an organization. Next, functions of HRD department or human resource department or talent management department recruiting and staffing, training and development, retention and redressal, which involves ensuring the rules and regulations, ensuring safe, fair work environment, sustaining high performance employees. What is job analysis? Human resource management collects the information about duties, responsibilities, necessary skills, outcomes and work environment to perform particular job. This is called job analysis. Main purpose of conducting job analysis is to prepare job description which helps in hiring right quality of workforce. What is job description? Information from analytical studies of the tasks to be performed is called job description based on which company decides the number of positions at various hierarchical level and number of positions per person. Next, why training is necessary? Training is necessary to develop workers to perform high grade tasks it is a systematic development of attitudes, knowledge and skills required by the person to perform given task. This leads to the development which means growth of individual in terms of ability, understanding, awareness, means to guide and direct workforce to achieve the goals of an organization. Hence, training is necessary to develop workers to perform high grade tasks, provide trainings to new workers, raise the efficiency of workers, make channels for developing clear messages from senior staff. Some techniques of training and development, lectures and talks by the seniors, group discussions, role play exercises, computer activities, case studies, quiz, games, inspection, and observation exercise. HRM assesses the performance of the workforce for three reasons. First, to encourage employees for improved organizational performance. Next, transfer employee into jobs for better use of abilities. Next, connecting payment and performance together. Retention and redressal of employees. This is done by taking care of mental, physical well-being of employees to retain good staff through counseling. By creating awareness among staff regarding safe environment and there will be two ways communication for this. Record keeping taxes and pensions and other benefits. Next, ensuring rules and regulations of an organization, how it can be done by interacting between management and union, by controlling discipline, giving the incentives for good manner, develop 
policies and handle sensitive issues like sexual harassment by protecting health of employees against hazards of workplace next payment of employees means timely appropriate wages should be given development of salary system pay packages should be there rewards given for the good work retirement benefits like pf and disability insurance next for sustaining the high performance there are different strategies which are adapted by hrs financial incentives given to the workers in an organization paid holidays for entire family of the workers packages for their children education wardrobe basket drivers wages housing allowance medical insurance given to the workers with this we have finished our chapter take good care of yourself we'll meet with the next chapter